Kung Fu Panda style DreamWorks logo. Who knew animations dreamt in anime? Also accurate narration. Enemies would go blind from overexposure to pure awesomeness. Ah! He's too awesome! There is no charge for awesomeness or attractiveness. Generosity, also modesty. And this cell animation style is not only completely different from the rest of the film, it's stunningly beautiful with its own bright color palette. Viper, Tigress, Rawr! Yeah, I can relate to that. It's kind of exactly what this channel is like. Coming! Persistence. Ha! Panda shadow on the ground from all the stuff Mr. Bing is carrying. Ah, my first reflections win. I mistakenly and cautiously because I wasn't sure gave the credit to the animators at the time, but now no texture artists are responsible. But still, well done to you all on this insanely specific detail. Whether it's just a result of programming or not, because kids aren't noticing that, most adults aren't noticing that, this is just an example of taking pride in your work. Four minutes in and the movie just screams quality. Are almost ready to be entrusted with the secret ingredient of my secret ingredient soup. This is it right here. The secret ingredient soup is really the heart of this film and it's set up right in the beginning. First hint at Poe's true talent. When it comes to food, his reflexes are on point. Two things. Is it still called Spidey Sense if you're a red panda? Red panda sense? And also, Shifu is a red panda? I had to look it up. Good going on bringing awareness to an endangered animal. Well done, students. If you were trying to disappoint me. Compliments? Also, did they mocap Dustin Hoffman for this? Because this is exactly Dustin Hoffman as an animal. And while we're talking about animal choices, making the ultimate sage, Supreme Kung Fu Master a tortoise is right in line with the theme of this movie. Your size, shape, speed, or really anything about your physical attributes don't matter when it pertains to Kung Fu. And everything out of his mouth is pure gold. Nothing's wrong. Well, I didn't say that. And Dugui's patience and intentional extinguishing of each candle contrasts nicely with Shifu's lack of patience and sums up both characters pretty perfectly. One often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Another theme throughout the entire series, really, and we'll soon see that he's literally right. But who? Who is worthy to become the Dragon Warrior? I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you, every word out of his mouth is gold. Also, honesty. Ha, the shot of Poe pulling the tree down from inside. You have not seen anything yet! I know! Bold move to barely show us any of the tournament. And I love it. Holds off the exciting kung fu training to come and keeps us with Poe so we feel his pain. Ooh, confetti to snow transition. <laughs> and Uguay's prophecy being fulfilled. The rhino's arrogance is the perfect spark for providing Tai Lung the tool to escape and it's all a direct result of Shifu sending Zhang to check on security. Wonder if Uguay designed this turtle shell looking restraint. Oh, the sword of heroes! Poe is a special protagonist. The writers had an easy opportunity to make Poe a typical stereotype of being cocky and a know it all, and instead he's meek, humble, and basically just a kung fu geek fanboy. Said to be so sharp you can cut yourself just by looking at Ow! Throughout the film, even when he actually becomes the dragon warrior, he still retains these qualities. I was looking. <gasps> the wooshy finger hold? Check off's wooshy finger hold. A Furious 5 Kung Fu montage is the fastest way to lose a tooth. Ah! While not everything the animals do is realistic, like I guess talking, birds' wings are often animated like hands. Following the theme of using what you already have, they kept Crane's wings just wings. You're a disgrace to Kung Fu, and if you have any respect for who we are, you will be gone by morning. Big fan! Poe gives us a great example of how to deal with bullies. Diffusing with humor can work sometimes. And the five. Man, you should have seen them. They totally hate me. Totally. More honesty. Quit. Don't quit. Noodles. Don't noodles. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. That is why it is called a present. I... I have nothing to add to that. Further fulfilling Uguay's prophecy, literally everything the guards do to stop Tai Lung only frees him quicker. Granted, he had to move his hand into position by lifting a huge boulder, but still. You might even beg the question, why didn't Uguay not say anything if he knew this was all gonna happen? But since Shifu grew as a person and Po fulfilled his true destiny, I guess it was all worth it. Yep. I mean, I don't think I really realized how many beautifully composed and color-coded shots there are in this film. <laughs> Not to mention unique action shots. And Will Hino. They are silent. We're dead. So very, very dead. Optimism. Again, yep. Throwing Hong Kong martial arts level slow mo shots into your animated fat panda movie. I was beginning to think I'd been forgotten. What? Al Swearingen is Tai Lung? 
That's San Francisco. And I had quite a few comments the first time around correctly correcting me that this is Ian McShane, not Al Swearingen, a name they'd never heard before. And I say to you people now that I would never recommend Deadwood, because no one should ever really recommend Deadwood to anyone, you know? Even if you're as obsessed with Timothy Oliphant as I am. So I'm saying, don't watch Deadwood. Don't. I'm glad Shifu sent you. Also, of course you are. It's the reason you're free. Another crazy awesome detail. At first I thought my eyes had screen burn, but nope. That's Tai Lung casting a shadow over the Valley of Peace. The only souvenirs we collect here are broken bones. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. There's just so much to be learned from Poe. He's always genuinely excited to learn no matter how hard Chifu is on him. And make him suffer for it. Oh, yeah. I mean, really, it's sort of like his superpower. Also, while you're being distracted by the fight choreography, let's talk about the color palette change to Dusk, showing the passage of time through more stunning visuals. He told him he was destined for greatness. This puts a whole different spin on the big bad in this film. It's very bad news. There is just news. There is no good or bad. Tai Lung has broken out of prison. That is bad news. <laughs> Oh, man. There's really nothing better than the wise sage who speaks in riddles and Confucianisms who then breaks their character sometimes and enters the real world. Is that Jack Skellington on Ugui's face? The panda will never fulfill his destiny until you let go of the illusion of control. I cannot make it bear fruit before it's time. But there are things we can control. I can control when the fruit will fall. Such a simple but underneath complex and nuanced philosophical discussion complete with evidence to support both masters' opinions. Neither of them is 100% right, shown by Shifu's control and then the fruit disobeying. But both of them have a point and both of their philosophies are what lead to post success. At first glance, this might seem like a selfish thing to do. To leave right as Tai Long is headed for the village while Shifu is confused and there's still no dragon warrior. But it's actually a selfless act. There seems to be no doubt that if Uwe wanted to stop Tai Lung, he'd have no problem. But he knows that if he does that, Shifu will never forgive himself for what Tai Lung became, and therefore Po won't be trained and will never fulfill his true destiny. Also, Mr. Shifu, I don't feel so good. How are you gonna change this into the Dragon Warrior? How? How? I don't know! sincerity that's easily the first step in letting go of the control, admitting you don't have all the answers, something Uguwe was readily willing to admit. Tigris accepts the pan theory of gravity. Hmm, that's an obscure one. Guess I thought I'd use that more often. Doesn't matter, cool shot is cool. Also, that's some daredevil level control. And I'm not talking about the Netflix version, I'm talking about Batfleck. Timing out your landing with the right knee bend to absorb the impact. We're not trying to stop you. What? We're coming with you. Friendship. Animated films give filmmakers the opportunity to stretch reality and tweak the scale of things. They take full advantage of that with beautiful shots like this that somehow still feel grounded in reality. This is just a... accident. There are no accidents. Character growth. <laughs> Haven't mentioned that this score is amazing and not surprising since John Paul and Hans Zimmer worked together on it. And I am your master. Okay! Enthusiasm. Can I just You're give win for enthusiasm? Yes, okay. I can. Training montages are the fastest way to become a kung fu master. Also adding that they're the fastest way to get more gorgeous imagery. I'm not hungry. This might seem strange at first because Poe is always hungry, but remember... You eat when you are upset. Which he does multiple times. So his real victory is not needing any comfort food. And also realizing that he still has more to learn. When you have been trained, you may eat. How about that fur vibrating on both Tai Lung and Tigress's faces? I guess it's possible that Tigress thought the slightly less furious four would grab the bridge before it fell, but there's no way she could have known for sure. So that's without hesitation self-sacrifice right there. The battle will be legend. Wait for it. There he is. Teamwork. You really believe I'm ready? You are. Oof, first time he's used his name. Panda, 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 panda. Do a quadruple backflip? Focus. Will I have invisibility? Focus. Huh? Focus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Encouragement. I can hold him off long enough for everyone to escape. But Shifu, he'll kill you. Then I will finally have paid for my mistake. Another not technically self-sacrifice since Shifu makes it out alive, but he fully accepts that he'll most likely die, so it is self-sacrifice. I'm very proud to have been your master. Respect. Hugging with a twist. A sneaking apron twist. There is no secret ingredient. 
There it is. And I love that Poe's real dad gets a chance to influence the outcome like this. Yes, sir. Storm level coolness. Fingertip rock shattering. Also, the mere fact that Tai Lung kicked up a boulder to send at Shifu just as a distraction. What? I loved you too much to see what you were becoming. I'm s I'm sorry. <sighs> Taking responsibility. And it actually gets through to Tai Lung for a second, taking him off guard. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the perfect unhero? Not anti hero, unhero. So, as Bo starts to demonstrate his unique talents as they pertain to Kung Fu, the music starts getting a little more whimsical again, since he really can't be hurt. Po quite literally applies what he learned from Shifu. <laughs> the scroll, food, it's all the same. Even when Shifu was trying to get Po to quit, he was learning to use his opponent's strengths against them. How's that? And he uses the attributes he already has to defeat Tai Lung. When you hit the ground so hard, even your tail leaves a hole. Skadoosh. Wait, so did Poe just disintegrate Tai Lung? I mean, he wasn't gonna quit, clearly. I'm just, I, I wanna be sure. Perfect mirror of Poe's dream in the beginning, and a great way to nail the message home. He fulfilled his dream of becoming a kung fu master with the skills and tools he already had. A noodle pot as a hat and an apron for a cape. Also, are all the villagers breathing Thai lung powder now? Ha, <laughs> lung powder. Too much? I know there's the whole plot of the second movie about Poe's bio family, but for the purposes of this one, I enjoy that it's not even really questioned. Mr. Ping is his dad. It's to the point that without the second movie, we just assume that he really is his dad, which is a great message to adopted kids, since raising you is more important than sharing DNA. Master. Master. Master? <laughs> Master? Master Shifu! And not even a second thought about being a master, just concern for Shifu. You have brought peace to this valley, and to me. And Shifu finally fulfills Ugwe's hopes for him by forgiving himself and being at peace. I am simply at peace. You wanna get something to eat? <sighs> yeah. Everybody is Kung Fu Fighting! Kung Fu Panda credits with Kung Fu Fighting remix by CeeLo and one half of Tenacious D? Which is really just Jack Black? Win. This movie has a post credit scene, and it's really endearing, since they did go get some food. Also, it reminds us of Ugwe's wisdom about the peach tree. Comedies can be tough to win, at least the funny ones are. Short of dinging every joke, I feel like I'm leaving a bunch of stuff out. And while this movie contained plenty of slapstick, subtle situational humor, in, 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 inner peace. You know, I was kind of thinking maybe I, yeah? I was kind of thinking maybe I, uh-huh. And straight up hilarious dialogue. We do not wash our pits in the pool of sacred tears. It was also so much more. There is a profound message in this film that fantasy cartoon movies sometimes forego for more spectacle. If this movie had been made in the 80s, the dragon scroll would have likely been a magical MacGuffin. Tai Long would have had it for a while at the end, and then he turned into a dark and powerful kung fu god. Instead, we're taught that true kung fu power comes from within with self-confidence and using your innate strengths. As Poe finally realizes after talking with his father. The secret ingredient is... Nothing. There's no secret ingredient in the soup, and there isn't an all-powerful magic Poe needs to become the Dragon Warrior. The scroll has given him power! Ugwe knew that from the beginning, but needed to remove himself so that Shifu and Poe could learn that lesson themselves. Tai Lung was headed down a dark path with or without Shifu's tutelage. The evil was already in him. After seeing that Poe could become the Dragon Warrior with nothing extra, Shifu could finally have peace about what Tai Lung became because it really wasn't on him. One thing I'd be remiss for not mentioning in a kung fu movie is the kung fu. It's fun, engaging, tense, tells parts of the story, develops our characters, and quite often completely ignores physics. Which is exactly what I want from my anthropomorphized animated animal films. But the choreography is truly astounding. One thing I was remiss for not mentioning the first time I did this film is how absolutely gorgeous every frame is. It was my 11th movie and my first animated movie. Coming back to it 150-ish movies later, I can say that the cinematography is something special. It's one of the prettier movies I've done to this day. Scenes at different times of day are color graded so dramatically, but you don't really notice because it just works and sets the appropriate mood. It all has a very Hong Kong cinema feeling to it. So the story, message, kung fu, and visuals are all great, but the performances are what really sell this movie. Jack Black is the type of actor you'd expect to overshadow his character, but he melds with Poe perfectly. And the same can be said for every voice actor. 
you might not even recognize Angelina Jolie if you don't know it's her. And then you hear Seth Rogen, but he also gives a performance beyond just Seth Rogen as a funny praying mantis. And casting a real martial artist in your animated martial arts film? Jackie Chan doesn't have the most lines, but does great with what he's given. However, Dustin Hoffman and Randall Duck Kim are the ones that really steal the show. Both are perfect casts and put so much heart into their characters. Each is turned into their respective animals perfectly. And these movies attract some ridiculously talented actors. Gary Oldman is in part two, J.K. Simmons and Brian Cranston are in part three. That alone should be a testament to the quality they're putting out. I've always really liked this movie. I still remember the first time I saw it and how much it moved me. This will sound terrible, but I also remember Julia getting upset with me. Well, confused, I guess, for wanting to watch it every time it came on TV the day after our wedding while she was waiting for me to go out to lunch. Uh, ruining that pristine image I've cultivated. We worked through it, and then I, I didn't actually make her wait more than a few hours. Anyway, this movie is legend. Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> I used to always end in a line from the movie, but that doesn't work with the teaser frame. So here's the teaser frame. You are free to eat. Hey! I said you are free to eat. Have a dumpling. You are free to eat. Am I? Are you?